Hello guys and girls, today Siemens or Bosch dishwasher general maintenance. So this is general maintenance of your dishwasher to keep it in tip top condition. So this is uh, our dishwasher. Ready to uh, do some work. So what we're going to do today is clean the spray propellers, clean the filter, check and clean the fan impeller on the wastewater pump and check the drainage U-bend for any blockages. So this is the first propeller which is underneath the top tray, just take that off anti-clockwise, put it under the tap, make sure all these holes are all free and they are, so that can go back on. So that's the first job done. Just push it up against and turn clockwise. Right, now we need to just remove the uh, baskets. On the top one, you've just got some little levers here and you just squeeze them in and lift it up slightly and out. Obviously the bottom tray just wheels straight out and you can put those on the floor. So this is inside our dishwasher. So now let's take out the main filter. So just turn that anti-clockwise and gently lift. Very simple. As you can see on mine, um, there's not a lot of debris in there. It's actually pretty good. But again, just run it under a cold water tap or a hot water tap. If there's any debris in there, just clean it all out. Just make sure there's nothing in there to block anything. So that's all looking good. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Right, next thing is take off the bottom propeller. This literally just lifts up. Again, just checking all these holes which squirt the water out. They're all free of any debris. I mean, it's looking pretty good. So just run it under a tap. Make sure the water pours out of those holes on both sides. Again, this one looks pretty good actually. No blockages on this, but you know, nice to do a bit of maintenance. Right, and what we're going to do now is check the um, the drain water motor. So what you need to do here is just get an old sponge and just get rid of the water. It's going to take two or three sponge loads. So just make sure it's as dry as you can get it really. And then what we need to do is just remove this little clip which um, covers the propeller for the drainage motor. Literally just squeeze it in and it pops out and then just kind of gently lift it. Again, make sure there's no debris on this. This one's just got a little bit of debris in it so that can just go in the bin. And now this is where you get down into the nitty gritty of the inner workings of the dishwasher. So I've got bits of hair in here and an old raisin or a grape or something. Now what I've got here is some eyebrow tweezer things which I stole from my partner's makeup bag. Shh, don't tell her. Yeah, baby. God, if she watches this, I'm in big trouble. Okay, so I'm just cleaning out any debris that I can see. Just a few hairs there and I don't know what this is. Normally when we put um, plates and dishes into dishwasher, always try and make sure there's not loads of food on them. So I don't know what that is. Then just get an old toothbrush, not a current toothbrush that anyone's using. And then just give everything a good old clean. This is the actual propeller which does the drainage motor, gets rid of the drainage water. Just make sure that moves freely and this one does. Then wash up the eyebrow remover tweezer things and put them back in your partner's makeup bag and hope she doesn't watch the video. Right, so put the uh, drain pump cover back on. So just what you do is just push this gently down and then just get the back end of a spoon and just push it down hard. There, there we go, that's just clipped in there nicely. So let's put the bottom propeller back on and put the filter back in and turn clockwise make sure everything's moving freely now what i'm going to do now is just pull the dishwasher out obviously don't pull it too far because it's connected to the mains cold water so this is the drainage pipe which goes down into this drainage pipe which then obviously goes outside and then you've got the u-bend
So there could be a blockage in the U-bend. So first of all, let's check the wastewater pipe from the back of the dishwasher. Obviously have a bucket ready because there will be water. Again, that's looking pretty good. Nothing to clean out of there. So now let's just take this U-bend off. Just make sure there's no blockages in there. You know, there could be food in there, bits and bobs. Just going to have a quick look down it. Looks pretty good. I can see water swishing about. So just put a tray underneath this because again, you will get some water. And then just undo these. I actually only need to do un undo one of these because I'm just going to remove the whole pipe. Okay, so I've got the bottom one undone and this top one I've just undid one of the screws and just going to remove the whole pipe. There we go. So just going to carry this over to the sink very carefully and just empty that water into the sink and then check all looks pretty good to me it's not blocked up so this can go back on so all looking good so that can go back on so just some general dishwasher maintenance just to make sure it's all working smoothly and in tip-top condition so just hand tighten that do not use pliers on plastic threads don't ever do that always just hand tighten it Remember to put the waste water pipe back in because if you forget to do that, the next time you put on your dishwasher, you're going to have a flooded kitchen. Not good. And that's the, where the cold water comes in. So just make sure that's not blocked, just visually. And put the top tray back in and the bottom tray back in. And that is the dishwasher maintenance video. And if you survived this long, congratulations. That is the end. Hopefully that's helped somebody out there. Might help me uh, one day if I forget what I did. So thanks for watching. Cheers. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L.